some of us actually manage our stress quite well. Some of us have the ability to not only cope with stressful and challenging events, but to transform these events into opportunities for growth. And Dr. Dennis Charney from Mount Sinai would call these individuals stress resilient. In comparison to individuals who he calls stress vulnerable, which have the inability to regulate emotional and behavioral reactions to, to the, in the face of adversity, leading to prolonged unmanaged stress. And so Dr. Dennis Charney was very interested in understanding the differences between these two types of people, those who are stress resilient and those who are stress vulnerable. And so what he did was he studied people who had all gone through the same stressor, the same trauma, war, and took these veterans, half of them who recovered or returned from war, recovered and lived functional lives, and half of them who returned from war never recovered and struggled to function in life, having repeated experiences of, 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 the, stressor, of the stress and the trauma and the horror of war. And so if you take that first group who were living functionally, stress, the stress-resilient group, and you looked at the differences between them and the second group, the stress-vulnerable group, you can look at all kinds of things like biological, psychological, and social traits and skills. And that's just what he did. And so today I'm only going to talk to you about the psychological and social traits and skills and leave the biology for you to study on your own.